going back to your first week of uni, what do you remember the most? I think I just remember the excitement of being here and of O Week and of studying new subjects and all that sort of thing. What's one thing every student should do in their first week? Um, sign up for lots of things um, because you never know what your interest is going to, how your interests are going to develop. Um, and it's just worth trying out lots of things, even things you think you'll do badly. And did you choose your subjects because of the love of the subjects or because of the vocation that you thought it might provide you after? I can give you a solid intellectual reason why I did Italian, which was I was interested in Renaissance English poetry and Renaissance Italian poetry was very important and it was useful and all that sort of stuff. Um, but really, I could also have done Chinese or Hindi. Um, I was looking for another subject. And I think that's how lots of students actually choose their subjects. Mm. And my girlfriend was doing Italian, so that seemed reasonable. <laughs> um, I, she dropped out in the second year and I did honours in it. Right. So you can never tell what's going to happen. <laughs> and what matters is that you're learning to think and that you're learning to um, express your ideas well, both orally and in writing. And while you were studying, did you have any part-time jobs? I did. Um, while I was studying, I had at any given point up to five part-time jobs. There right. is um, almost nothing that I didn't do. Um, most of them were in the hospitality industry, so um, I did a lot of waiting, I did a lot of bar work, um, I even did table cooking um, at one point. So um, I understand what it is to balance study and work. And I've heard you're fluent in Mandarin. Is uh, that correct? Uh, oh, no. well, the honey you are short of a while. <laughs> um, I, I really don't speak Chinese that well. I can give a speech, I'm good with taxi drivers and, um, and uh, waiters and things, but I'm not fluent. What's one piece of advice you'd give to a final year student? Be bold. You know, it's a pretty scary time in your final year of university as you're thinking about jobs and all the rest of it. Um, remember the decisions you're making now that seem like decisions you're making for the whole of your rest of, for the rest of your life are actually decisions about what you're going to do for the next two or three years. So um, again, have the courage to um, uh, apply for things, to try things out, to, um, uh, and to know that a University of Sydney education will really have grounded you for all sorts of careers. Mm -hmm. Where's the best coffee on campus? Ooh, that's a tricky thing to say. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not because I have very strong opinions about it, but it's a bit tricky because there are so many different providers. Finish this sentence. When the jacaranda blooms... You have to have started studying for your exams.